Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, <clears throat> what's going on today, guys? Um, just in here, and I was looking at these these new babies, and I'm just checking them out, and they're so so little. But I'm like comparing them to the hat, the uh, clutch, the hatch previous to them, the ones that will be available in September, and the size difference is so crazy, so I just want to show you guys the size difference, so I'm going to grab, hold on, I'm going to Pause the video so I can get them both in my hand. Okay, there they go. Got them both in my hand, so you can see that size difference. And I just, um, almost five weeks difference in size. So you can see they grow a lot. They grow very fast, eat a lot. But I just wanted to show you that. I found it was real crazy to see one. See that much size difference. Five, five weeks can make. It's a big difference. So yeah, I'm going to put them back. And we also have an unboxing to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the unboxing. But I just wanted to show you guys that. That they grow so fast. Okay, let's get into this unboxing. I went ahead and took my address off of here, but we're gonna get into the rest of this unboxing together. Receipt business cards and everything like that on there. Let's see if he's a cryo pack. I need to buy me some cryo packs. I feel like he is. Not just an ice pack. Yep, he was in the cryo pack as well. I'm gonna buy me some of these so I can go getting close to being back to shipping some animals, so I'm gonna need some of those for sure. But go ahead and open this bag up. Head right there. And there she is. This is another hybrid. So it's a Pagona Viticeps and a Pagona Barbata hybrid. This girl's a hypo. No nips or anything like that. She really has that Barbada hair shape. But this girl, she's head with blit. 
actually I have to double check what our hits are. I'm really only focusing on getting some um, Barbada blood in my collection so I can get some of that size back. But she's very similar to what um, Stitch is. He's hiding right now. He's down there, but she's very similar to what he is. Uh, she's going to be breeding to him in the future. So I can get more of that Barbada look into my collection. And then once I breed them together, I'm going to then I'm gonna start working on putting a lot of genes in them. Even though they have genes, a lot of genes in them. They have a lot of genes in them as well. So this girl looks real good. Nice clear nails. For the focus. Her back is in shade right now. And to be a hybrid. She has a good amount of color already. So once I, once I start putting color in it, it should be a little bit more easy. But yeah. Got a lot of plans for this girl. Um, I forgot what her genetics is, but she's heads for some stuff. I'm going I'm to I'm look at the messages and um, so I don't make no mistake. I'm going to look at the messages and then... Uh, I'll put it in a screen right here. But look at that hair shape. So nice. And I'll give you guys an update when her back shed out so you can see the color of her. Um, again, for her to be a a hybrid. She has a good amount of color so far. And eventually, she'll be giving us some babies here. And like I do always, even though I know the breeder, I'm going to uh, double check just for my yeah, female. You can tell by the one lump right there in the middle. She has a, a long torso. I like that. The t it's not, sometimes you have a shorter torso with a long tail. She has a pretty long tail, but her torso is long as well. Um, the bearded dragons with the longer torsos when they females, they usually give you bigger clutches. So I look at those details now that I've been breeding for a while. So I look for certain things. But that's going to be the end of this video. hope you guys uh, liked it. If you have any questions, comment down below. Yeah, I'm excited to grow this girl out. All right, guys, you have a good one.